Okay, today I'm just going to show off the Intel voice. My last video was over the voice for the Odyssey, so I figured I'd show the Intel voice now. Okay, here's the Intel voice voice synthesis module. Here's the volume control for the voice. Mm -hmm. Now, unlike the voice with Intelligent, the sound on this does not come out of the actual this brown add-on. Comes out of the TV like you would think it would, and you have to have a special television cartridges, which I believe have the gold label like this Bomb Squad. Now I have mine plugged into this Intellivision 2, which is in pretty good condition. Now this is actually real fast going off the Intel voice. This is interesting. When I got this, I didn't think it was gonna work because because uh. Let me see when... Yeah, it was partly underwater when I got this. And I'm surprised it worked. I just dried it out. When I got it, I let it sit outside, dry out. Then I cleaned it up yesterday, and it was working, which surprised me. Now, unfortunately, I didn't have any of the controllers, so I had to use... Here are the controllers for the... Sears Telegames and television or whatever. Okay, so... Let me turn it on, press the power button... Okay, now it's on. Now, one problem with this, I'll just tell you about Intelligent 2's, is it's a pain to turn them off. You press this, it resets it. This is the on button and the off button. Now, to turn it off, you have to hold it down for like 5 seconds. You actually have to count like 1001, 1002. And you have to count 2-5 for it to work. So, let's see. Intelligent. G controller, which button do I press? This thing isn't working. Well, don't have any extra television controllers laying around right now, so. Mattel Electronics presents Long Walk. Now, if you watched my other video, the sound quality of the voice, I must say, is quite a bit better than the. Yeah, the voice's quality is not as good as the intelligent. Now, I could just show you this. Okay. Here's the volume control, like I told you. Let's see if I reset it. You could hear it when I... See? It went up and down as I moved that. Now, since the controller seems not to be working, which is annoying me. Don't seem to be working. Now, let's see. Yeah, the controllers aren't working. Oh wait, I know what I could do. Here's another intelligent too. Let me move this. Unplug this real fast. <clears throat> wait for it. Okay, unplugged it. Plug it into, I believe this is the first player controller. <clears throat> Oops, I just turned it off or something, I don't know. I don't know what I did. Let's reset it. Let's see, how do you start this? Okay, I have no idea how you start this game. It's not working. Okay, well, I can't show you more than that. Let's turn it off. So, like I said, 1001, 2002, 2003, 2004, 2005. Okay, now it's off. Now, let me move this IQ over. You gotta unplug cartridge. Now, here's the box for the Intel voice gains. They'll say voice synthesis cartridge. There's the overlays. I don't think this came with a manual. It doesn't look like there's anywhere. Or manual to go, because the other one doesn't have it either. Here's Bomb Squad. I have some more Intel voice games there. Down there in my box of intelligent stuff. Here's B-17 Bomber. Okay. Now let's plug it in. Now the thing I noticed with the Intel voice is, 
on the cartridge is actually a line that says insert to this line. Now if you insert past it, it won't work. And if, so you gotta insert it like right on the line. Okay, let's turn it on. Yeah, and it didn't work. So Intel voice is quite a pain because the cartridges have to be perfect. Stupid Intelligent. It's easier just to unplug it. <clears throat> Let me, there you go, plug the power back in. Let me keep, okay, let's see, hopefully it worked this time. And no, it didn't work. That's another problem with Intel Voice. It's a pain to get this thing to work. You have to keep moving the cartridge around. It's easier just to not use Intel Voice. Well, okay, it's not cooperating with me, so... Yeah, Intel Voice pretty cool. They're pretty cheap nowadays, not too hard to find. If you want to get one, you can get one. They're more of a pain than use, I think. Okay, well, there's my review. Don't get it unless you really want it. They're pretty cheap, though, if you do get it. It's not really worth it. It's not that much exciting. Just add some sound, which sound like computers, okay?